Hello everybody, this is Nate of the Collision Division, and today I'm going to be bringing you a computer craft tutorial on how to make a password protected iron door. So here's what you're going to do. Um, well, why don't I show you how it works when it's done first. So you right click on it, input password, the password is Nate, right o gent, and you walk on through. And you may be saying, well that was easy, all you did was click on it type something random in and set it to have the door open. But if I type the wrong password in, wrong, nothing happens, and the computer will shut down. So, uh, yeah, that looks pretty easy, but um, it's actually quite complex once you actually try and build one. So, uh, well, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So, whatever. However your wall is set up is fine. Shh, it's irrelevant, really. So, first, we're going to right click on uh, our uh, computer and we're going to type in oop, edit and then startup. So this is going to create a program called startup and it's going to run at startup. So next we're going to want to type print and then parentheses and then whatever that thing is, quotes, and then input password or whatever you want it to say. And then end quotes and parentheses. So it's going to say that, and then we're going to make a va variable, and we're going to call it password, and it's going to be equal to read, and then to parentheses. So now we're going to write in an if statement. So if password is, oh wait, one sec. All right, there we go. So yes, password is equal to read. This is going to set the string password equal to whatever the next user input is. So now what we're going to do is write if password is two equal signs equal to whatever we want the password to be, Nate in quotes, then, then we're going to type over here what we want it to do. So first we'll do, um, oop, I was about to type Java there. I was going to type this, but uh, we're not in Java, so uh, instead we're going to write just print, and then what we want, and we're going to say write o gent, write o gent. There we are. Close the bubble. So now it's going to after you type in the correct password, Nate, it's going to say write o gent, and then we're going to have it do something else. We're going to have it do redstone dot Oh, what is it? Dot set output. So redstone dot set and then camel case is what this is called. The O is capitalized. Dot output parenthesis quotes left because my door is on the left. Unquotes comma comma not period. This was confusing when I first learned this. And then after that, you're going to type true. So there we go. Then we'll close our parenthesis. Then we're going to type sleep and parenthesis, parenthesis, five, close parenthesis. So it's going to do nothing for five seconds and it's going to keep the door open. And then we're going to do redstone dot set output the same way as we did before. And we're going to type in left again, close parenthesis, comma, false. And that's going to make that it's no longer sending out a redstone current on that side. So wait, I would like to just format our code real quick. So after the if statement, let's have three indents on each. So there we go. So now, then we're gonna have our else statement. So if this is true, then do this. If it's not true, do this. So for the else statement, if you get it wrong, we're gonna have it type so it's going to go print wrong o gent and then it's going to do some other stuff too it's going to sleep well sleep for two so you have time to read it so it just doesn't disappear right away and then it's going to do os dot shutdown parentheses so uh oop i forgot one bit here when you get it right, it also has to do os.shutdown. Of 
close friends, and I seems like I have some extra spaces over here, and that can just cause issues. So let's get rid of them. <laughs> then, after this is done, we're gonna write end. So then we're gonna hit Control and then press Enter, and that's gonna save. And then we're gonna do Control, and then we're gonna press the right arrow key and then Enter, and that's gonna exit. So then when we type reboot, it's gonna say goodbye, and then it's gonna say input password. If I type in Nate, right O gent, the door opens, you can walk through, and if I right click it on again, if I type in guest bar, wrong O gent, nothing happens. So this is a really good way to do the door. I spent some time working on this. It's not all my code, but most of it is. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys. Oh, all right, guys, one more thing. So uh, the reason I made this in the first place was because, uh, as you know, our, our tech at LP, um, that, uh, that server we're playing on, me and Gaspar, um, we're, we don't have a house yet, we've just sort of got a compound, and I want to build a house, but I only want us to be able to get into it. So, uh, the password won't be Nate, so, uh, if any of you come to the server, you won't be able to get in, unfortunately, but I, I'll let you in if you come on. And, uh, yeah, I wanted a way to lock people out, because I'm going to use, because not all machines are lockable, so, um, yeah. So a nice way to do this is, look, you can type in Nate, you go through, and a way to get back out is just have a button here. So when that door closes, hit the button and you can go out. So I'm gonna show you. This is my, this is the one that I already made that works. And uh, <laughs> this is uh, when I was trying to figure out how the redstone bit worked and that one's broken. So uh, thank you for watching. And if you need the code like written in, you won't be able to paste it into the computer, but I will put the whole code in the description. So uh, if I put the wrong code in the description, tell me, I'll fix it, and uh, please leave a like on the video. I spent some time working on this, and bye.